In order to draw a box in a whisker plot, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile, because those are the things that we're going to use to actually draw our diagram. So if I have a set of information like this, I need to first find the median. So I need to count up how many I have. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And remember I told you last time, we say 11 plus 1 is 12 divided by 2 means I'm looking for the sixth number to find the median. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is then my median. Then I'm going to exclude the median and I'm going to look at only those numbers. So there's five numbers there. So I want the middle number there. So that is then my lower quartile. And then on the other side, I have five numbers as well. So that in the middle is going to be my upper quartile. So now I have a median, lower quartile, upper quartile, and the whole data set. So now I can start drawing a box and whisker. So for a box and whisker, you're always going to get graph paper or some form of grid. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a ruler line for your scale. Now it doesn't have to touch end to end. It also does not have to start at zero. Depending on what data set you have, you draw your scale accordingly. So here we're starting at three and going all the way up to 22. So it's easier to make it uniform if I start at zero. And let's say I'm gonna go up every five blocks as twos. So I have a nice uniform scale. So it doesn't have to start at zero, but it has to still be uniform. So I've counted out every few blocks and I've gone up in twos. And then you're going to add a label to that. So I haven't specifically said what these are. So for now we can just say it's our number, number of people or whatever it refers to, which will be given to you in the question. So now I've got a scale that I usually call a floating scale because I put it higher up. I don't put it all the way at the bottom of the line. I put it in the actual grid. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I find my median line is 16. So along here, I'm going to find where I've put 16. And a little bit higher up in the middle, I'm going to say, let's say there, I'm going to draw the line at 16. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my lower quartile at 10. So I find where 10 is up and I draw a line the same length along there and my upper quartile of 19 which is going to be in the middle there and I draw my line. And then what I'm going to do is I connect the box. So that is the box part of the box and whisker. So this being my median at 16, my lower quartile and upper quartile at 19 and 10. And then we need to add the whiskers part of box and whisker plot. So the whiskers come from your lowest value and your highest value. So all you do is you find the lowest value as three, so on your graph, you draw a tiny little line, and the highest value is 22, so at 22, I draw a tiny little line, and then going across in the middle of the box, I connect my line to my box nice and neatly, and I always use a ruler whenever I do a box and whisker plot. So that is it for the box and whisker. And obviously you add a title in there as well. 
And that's how we draw a simple box and whisker. Okay, so if I look at this next example, I can put the two box and whisker plots onto the same graph. Because here, I've been given a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram of the cholesterol count for people who exercise and people who do not. So it's the same kind of information, just two different sets. So I'm going to draw a box and whisker for this side and a box and whisker for this side. So the first thing I need to do, just like before, I find the median and the quartiles. So on this side, with the people who exercise, I'm told there's 45 people in total. So I'm going to say 45 plus one divided by two will give me the 23rd number that I'm looking for. So now on here, I'm gonna start on this side and we work backwards. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all the way up until I find the 23rd number, which is going to be this one over here. So that is then my median. So if I read this number using the key, so the key tells us it represents points. So this represents 5.3. And that is then the median. So now I'm looking at just the numbers beforehand. And I have 22 numbers there. So 22 plus 1 divided by 2 means it's 11.5. So I want the number between the 11th number and the 12th number. So if I count all the way through, that's the 11th and that's the 12th number there. So I want 4.2 plus 4.3 divided by two, which will give me 4.25. And that is then my lower quartile. Then for the upper quartile, I want, from excluding the median, same thing, between the 11th and 12th number from there. So if I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12, I'm looking at those two numbers there. So my Q3 is going to be 6.6 .6 plus 6.6 .6 divided by 2 gives me 6. Point six. So there's my quarter, lower quartile, median, upper quartile for this side. So then I need to do the exact same thing on the other side. So on the other side, I've now got 63 numbers. So I'm going to say 63 plus 1 divided by 2 means I'm looking for the 32nd number in here. So now I count from here. So I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way until I find the 32nd number, which when you count will give me this one over here. And now using my key, I know that that means this is 6.5 and that is then the median. So now I'm looking the numbers just before the median, there's going to be 31 numbers there. Plus one divided by two means I'm looking for the 16th number. So then I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm looking for that one, which means that this is 5.4 as my Q1. And then after the median, I'm looking for the 16th number again. So I count them all the way through and I find that this is my 16th number there. So that is going to be 8.3 as the Q3. So now I've got my medians and my quartiles. 
I can simply read the lowest number and the highest number from the stem and leaf. So on this side, the lowest number is 3.1 and the highest number is 9.4. And then on this side, the lowest number is also 3.1 and the highest number is 10.6. So now I know exactly what I'm looking for on the graph to draw. So then I can take my graph paper and I can draw my grid line. So here I've drawn my line across and I've gone up in ones because I'm only going from three up to 10.6. So I went evenly up in ones from three to 11. And I've labeled it because this is now the cholesterol count. So we can start by drawing our first box and whisker from this side. So I start with the median and the median there, I've registered as 5.3, so at 5.3, I go and I draw straight line. Then my lower quartile, 4.25. So at 4.25, I draw a straight line. And at 6.6, .6, I draw my straight line. And then I connect my box through there. And then I add the lowest number as 3.1 and the highest number as 9.4. So at 9.4. I draw my lines and then I connect them to the middle of the box. So there's the box and whisker. And we label it, so this is for the people who exercise. And then I go and I draw my second one. So now this one is at the bottom, so now slightly higher up, I'm going to add the second one on today. Starting with the median of 6.5, so at 6.5, now slightly higher up. I draw the next box and then at 5.4 for the lower quartile at 8.3 for the upper quartile connect them find the lowest number as 3.1 the highest number as 10.6 and then you draw a line connecting those to the middle and then we label this one as people who don't exercise. So now we've got our two box and whiskers on the same graph because they're representing the same type of thing. And now what we can do is we're able to then compare them. So you can talk about this median being higher than this one. This box is a lot more spread out than this one and things like that. So that's why we put them both on the same graph so that then we can make comparisons between them.